In June 1971, Jeannie left the Children's Hospital Los Angeles and went to live with Jean Butler. Butler was one of Jeannie's teachers at the hospital. Jeannie lived with Butler until August 1970. She made great gains while in Butler's care. Butler refused to allow Jeannie to see many of the scientists and doctors from the hospital. She also refused to allow Jeannie to be tested as much. When she left Butler's home, Jeannie went to live with David and Marilyn Rigler. David had applied for the grant to study Jeannie. While staying with the Riglers, Jeannie started attending school. Soon after Jeannie turned 18 in 1975, she went to live with her mother in the house she grew up in. Jeannie only lived with her mother for a few months before she was turned over to state care. Jeannie began to live in a series of foster homes and institutions. Many of these living arrangements would, once again, expose Jeannie to severe physical and emotional abuse. Today, Jeannie is still living in the care of the state of California. The last reported update was in 2000. At that time, she was said to have been doing well.